All right, so we've got the universe. I am living in the infinite universe and there is an infinite universe living in me. When what I get, this is pure self-awareness right here, right? And when we're in this Ace of Cups, this is an understanding of our waters, understanding of our emotions and why we connect with the things we connect with and standing for it with the Seven of Wands. You know, you're standing your ground. This is a lot of perseverance and understanding your connection with the universe. I'm going to pull here. Um, actually, let me do the first, the Major Arcana. What is the Major Arcana shift here for? The moon. Oh, my God. You guys, I um, Virgo got this as well. But this moon energy we have definitely put in everyone in their waters this month. And I feel like this is with this Leo energy where finally the sun has illuminated. And I feel the, the masculine energy of the Leo energy is always a nice activation. We're also going to have Lion's Gate. So this allows a new portal. Bottom of that is a new beginning. Again, with the Ace of Cups, this is about fresh energy. And this is about taking charge. So I feel there's a lot of progress happening. And they, there was, we all felt this pull with the Cancer energy and the Aquarius full moon, which I feel was, we had like straight energy with waters and then we had air. And so it hit us with the emotions and then boom, all of a sudden it hit us in the mind with some level of clarity. And so now with the Leo energy, this is about illum overall illumination. And then it's like, charging with that masculine energy so we finally get into gear and so here with the in intuition and insight your intuitive abilities are very accurate right now so you can trust your guidance to lead you in the right direction very strong chariot energy here follow your own insights over the advice of others and don't allow fear or worry to guide your way it may be best to keep your secrets to yourself and i feel this is you trusting the universe now right and I'm releasing any fears or resistance with that seven of wands because the seven of wands can have some level of resistance as well so let's see what your soul the evolution of the transitions of your soul for the month of august sharing and mental clutter so someone may benefit from what you have learned reach out and share the knowledge and wisdom you have attained through experience and mental clutter be careful of spending too much time in your headspace which leaves little room for real clarity to present itself and i feel this is what the mental clutter the, the stagnation with the moon had felt so now you're in a space of go and when you're in this space, yeah, sharing for a lot of you may be a thing. Maybe sharing, um, this is about sharing uh, a, your story. Some of you are probably into writing. Some of you, you know, really are healers, right? Into channeling. And so when we channel emotions, we can really help and assist others really grow and evolve with their own evolution, with their own soul's growth. Um, so for you, I feel the sharing is for a lot of those who, who do hold some level of like need to write and share your story. Um, a lot of like artistic, I feel. So there's something about artist, artistic here with the sharing. Uh, so Spirit, what is the guide? Let's see what's the main energy for Taurus. Main energy for Taurus. So much insight for everyone during this cancer season, um, and I've had a lot of it myself. So, all tied up in the garden and gate. So, this is simply creating and making a decision, right? This is a time to just make, be decisive, right? Be decisive, not limiting ourselves, not being stuck in this energy. Maybe the, the, again, this moon energy made you feel very stagnant for some time, but this Ace of Cups is allowing you not to hold back either with the Seven of Wands, right? This is about you persevering um, and finding courage and just letting yourself free it's like you're breaking free through your emotions for this new beginning. So let's see what's tying some of you up because maybe some of you feel still some level of stagnation. 
and you have to remember that you're the universe right i am living in the infinite universe and there is an infinite universe living in me knowing your power with the universe and your ability to set yourself free not you need to tie yourself up right just really give me more of this all tied up for taurus So right away we got another ace ace of pentacles queen of swords queen of cup i mean king of cups and three of swords Whew. all right you guys so this feels like um definitely a relationship here you know for some of you it could be just a work environment where you're just over you're overly working too much very exhausted um and maybe there is a need to kind of balance out to experience more of your creative sides, right? Trusting the universe in terms of incorporating things you actually love with your day to day and then allowing yourself to have the new beginning because you have two beginnings here. You have two wands and the wands are also magicians. So this is your ability to alchemize, right? Magicians, alchemy. And again, it you co-creating with the universe knowing that this is your time to really um share mental clutter may be an issue right uh queen of swords can be very much in the headspace but this fear of three of swords fears can live within yourself so there could be some level of fear and then needing to trust your intuition um, with the king of cups so this is about how you embody the energy for trusting the process for a new 3d beginning pentacles are people places things right and so this is about trusting your emotion right for a new beginning knowing that you things don't have to hold you back there is something within you there's something that you have there's a, a need to share something so maybe there is a need to share something and there is more of a mental blockage that is holding you back um and so this is about you releasing a lot of that as well seven of wands finding the courage you know and picking yourself up that wit you need to just go for it um again i feel that strong chariot energy here we have six of pentacles and six of cups two sixes here um and this is a need to harmonize i feel again balance of who you're giving your energy to now for those of you who i feel this is a connection i feel someone this feels like a fight to be honest this feels like a fight and it still can be worked out with the six of pentacles and the six of cups and this this ace of pentacles so to me, this is like a fight that needs to just kind of be resolved and a, and a conversation needs to be had because, and, and then inner voice needed, right? An inner voice needed because um, either you or your person, again, with the mental clutter, probably holding back. And I feel like that's all tied up is a mind, is a mind, right? We have three swords energy. So there's something that's not being said and something that needs to be communicated. And once it's communicated, you harmonize with the two sixes. You guys realize well, who's giving, who's not giving. And you find a common ground to finally really invest in your emotions because we've got cups and our main energy is ace of cups. So this is about really finding more compassion towards each other but understanding the level of intimacy and communication that's required and the balance that's needed for this relationship to really progress and to shift and to have more of a committed um no fears of it falling apart because now you both feel solid in terms of where it's heading to going forward so let's see what this um, garden and the gate. This, this, so this is obviously decision. And again, it is stuck energy to me. These, these feel like very combined energies here. Like um, things are in the air, but yeah. You know, for some of you, it's definitely, it's that mental clutter or spirit. Give me more of this garden and the gate for Taurus. My Tauruses, you guys are never easy. 
between you and Aries. Give me more on this Taurus. Oh my god. These are like the same cards. Okay. Go watch Virgo if you guys need to watch Virgo. Um, it's because Virgo had this King of Swords, strong masculine energy, just in case you guys have it. But I mean, this is a need to really balance yourself, Taurus. King of Swords energy, which um, we have Queen of Swords. So we have counterparts here as well. High Priestess, Temperance, and Knight of Swords. You know, you could be dealing with another air sign, um, a Pisces, Sagittarius here as main energies here. But to me, I really see again, and look at this, you guys, we have that Six of Cups again, Five of Pentacles. So there's a need with the Page of Swords. A communication is necessary, right? To get to this new beginning. Ace is Ten of Pentacles. I feel this is a matter of releasing and finding um, strength to just talk. I think this is a clarity needed. Things need to come out. No, I mean, once things are tempered within yourself, and I feel that's what the moon energy is. You go within, you spend time, you think about things, but no more in the silence because now things need to get clear because you've got two swords energy, king of swords, knight of swords, in order to bring about movement and change into this, con into this connection. For others of you who it has nothing to do with this relationship, this is just about you really, really finding that balance within yourself for change. And, you know, it being two swords energy, this is also about the progression in your mind from a knight to a king. That mentally, you know, you can take these initiatives. No more wands, no holding your, like, wands are about action. And so the resistance with the seven of wands, it can be some stuck self-preservation and maybe because in the mind we live too much in the mind space which is that all tied up but this is also allowing yourself to move no matter what and not really like you've done enough of the back and forth and this is where you have to trust the universe and these two the, the temperance and the high priestess is about your faith and we're talking about the universe right I am living in the infinite universe and there is an infinite universe living in me. You knowing that this is you, this energy here is you, your tempering and your intuition and your faith, right? Your connection with the spirit, the spirit world, the spirit realm and challenging your faith with source and how much you, you do believe that you can alchemize and really balance your how, your life out but also trusting because temperance is about patience trusting in the divine plan this is a battle though this is a battle of keeping faith and then being in our heads I want to pull one for this Knight of Swords spirit. Give me more on this Knight of Swords. More on this Knight of Swords. I mean, you guys have two aces. Wow, nine more swords energy. So yes, it's like I said, this is about getting out of your head, right? Believing in the progress. So a little hiccup, but again, potential for new beginnings. You guys have two aces. This is about you really releasing a lot of these fears. Not You've got to find the courage. This is a surrendering and trusting. Again, seven of wands, you know, in reverse is surrendering and trusting the universe, right? And, it, and some of you, it could be a burnout. Some of you are just exhausted. This is a level of exhaustion. And that mental clutter, right? Because there's a lot about mental clutter. I'm getting with some of you this sharing here. Um, reach out and share the knowledge and wisdom you have attained through experience. There might be someone you need to, some of you, and I'm just picking this up for some of you, who need to speak to someone. You got to open yourself up. Allow yourself to get some good guidance. You know, maybe some of you may need a tarot reading uh, or spiritual guidance, but some guidance to increase faith so there isn't a level of discouragement and remember these are minor arcanas here because you can come out of it you have to believe that you can um so let's see what is the full moon energy 
Spirit, what is the full moon energy for Taurus? It's full moon energy for Taurus. Prosperity lies ahead. And I feel this is about trusting that it does. No matter what, this is new moon in Taurus, this is you. So you've got to trust, um, Taurus, that things are, are there is a positive outcome here. Because you got two aces here. There are positive outcomes. Wow. I mean, this really is um, a message for a lot of you guys. Seek help, okay? So this situation requires professional insight. You're being guided to find a counselor, mentor, coach, psychologist, doctor to get you through this pain. There's nothing wrong with asking for help. You will get there. Hang on. You know, this is, it's okay. It's okay to reach out for guidance. Some of you doesn't have to be anything as serious as a doctor or psychologist. It could be just a spiritual guidance some of you it could just be a nice youtube video that you find that you connect with on a soul spiritual level that brings you some level of peace and clarity to kind of clear some of the mental clutter that some of you may be experienced to uplift your vibration knowing that you're working with the universe and um have and trust what's ahead that no matter what there is going to be a positive outcome because this is about you also trusting yourself. So let's see what else for get under guidance. Magical blessings. Wherever you're going, whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. So, you know, understand that this is all experience. And at the end of the day, your story will help someone else. It's everything, everything in life has meaning, right? the good or the bad that's the 3d the 3d is about duality and so everything in life has meaning now where you get to shift that energy is the meaning you apply to it it yourself and how you define that and so i really feel spirit is just saying you have control here to shift your energy right you have a choice not so much control because you're very much in a control being energy but not in a trusting energy and so this is about increasing your faith and understanding your your own intuition and your own plan and trusting your own self too, increasing that level of faith within you so um taurus i'm gonna leave it there please like share subscribe